A military bomb has turned up in a Tucson scrapyard just six months after another bomb in a scrapyard killed a worker who used a torch to cut it open. This video shows the power of the Mark 82 bomb when it's fully loaded. A bomb casing with residual explosives inside was enough to kill 46-year-old Daniel Wright in September. But as KGUN 9 in Your Side's Craig Smith reports, nobody was hurt by the bomb found today. HVF West Recycling makes a specialty of safely recycling military hardware like aircraft. About 9.30 in the morning, TPD's bomb squad answered a call for what turned out to be a Mark 82 500-pound medium bomb. The Pima Sheriff's bomb squad was there to assist. Air Force Explosives Disposal Specialist from Davis Monthan moved the bomb to this pit on base for safe disposal. This video from DM shows the bomb is dented and without the tail fins that would make it easier to recognize as a bomb. It is so old, it's hard to see any markings that might help trace it. This scrapyard is right on the edge of Davis Monthan, but that does not mean the base is where that bomb came from. Tucson police say it is still not clear where the bomb came from that killed 46-year-old Daniel Wright on September 23rd. He was working at a different scrapyard, Tucson Iron and Metal. The police report says a co-worker warned him not to cut into the bomb, but he reached inside an opening and thought the bomb case was empty. There was still enough explosive inside to detonate when he used a cutting torch. Police say that bomb was also so old markings were no help. That leaves it a mystery how the bomb made it into a scrapyard. Just moving a bomb usually takes special equipment. A Mark 82 bomb weighs 500 pounds, even with explosive removed. The casing weighs about 300. After the bomb explosion that killed Daniel Wright, Arizona Senator John McCain urged the Secretary of Defense to find out how the bomb made it into civilian hands. Craig Smith, KGON 9, on your side.